All right, <clears throat> hopefully I'm in frame, uh, so I don't have to do this thing again. Uh, but I built a bit, I built a thing for the bus today, or over the last couple days. Uh, Carrie gave me a start uh, helping out with the framing, and uh, this is what I'm, what we're working on. Uh, is the bed frame which is also going to be where the water storage is underneath and then there's going to be storage drawers and stuff on top. Forgive it, the wind is blowing, my door is squealing. That is just part of being on the Gentrprise. Uh, so here let me show you what I'm doing. i flip you around. All right <clears throat> so if I back up a bit this is the bed frame. Sorry about the sunshine and shadow. Um, but what's going on is, so the frames, these guys, are all the 25 and a quarter uh, notched pieces that go up just underneath the window, uh, so that this piece right here um, will be up against the wall. Um, and so I've got supports throughout. Uh, there'll be an end support that runs this way from wall to wall. Um, I'm gonna come around this way so I can eliminate some of the sunshine issue. Um, sorry. All right, so what I did is within the bed frame itself, uh, I built a structure to hold and support the water tanks. Bear with me a sec, sorry. Okay. Um, so what we've got is these side pieces are attached to 24 inch two by four, uh, which run underneath, okay? Um, and then here's the ironic part, this piece of wood, which is above the insulation, I actually have to take it out because that wood goes below it uh, for the base support of the water tank. And then the water tank, just for extra padding and a little extra insulation, I'm wrapping it in uh, some of this quarter inch uh, foam board. And then I've got supports on the front and back here that'll keep it from shifting forward and back. And then over here is where I'm gonna put uh, the water pump and all that good stuff. So, um, oh, and so once this is all in, let me hypothetically throw down some boards here. These top support boards, grumble, 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 grumble. Um, so those boards are gonna get attached across the top to the supports and then I'll have another flat piece of me or flat piece of wood across the top um, so that it'll be a storage shelf that I can access from my garage area which is where I'm standing right now so the back of the bus this is all garage this window is going to come out actually all the windows with X's are coming out this week um, and then there'll be a wall that separates the garage area but um, the wall is gonna be like the last thing I put in uh, because this is still the best access point for getting wood and supplies and stuff like that in uh, but I wanted to get the water tank enclosures built and the bed frame built because as soon as the weather starts to get nicer nicer I'd like to be able to sleep in here uh, even though I'm still working on it um, so yeah so that's kind of the thing I built the crappiest video I think I've taken yet, but it's okay. I'm kind of hot and it's sunny and anyway, <laughs> I'm just feeling awkward today. Um, so there'll be a water tank here and a water tank there. Uh, they're both 46 gallon tanks. Um, they'll be connected by a hose at the bottom, which is going to go through a little channel here. And then that'll have stuff built over it to support it. Um, that's going to ensure that the water tanks remain the same level uh, and the fill will come in on this side um, and then hopefully both the tanks will remain the same level. Originally one was going to be uh, gray water and one was going to be um, fresh water. Um, they're 46 gallon tanks. The more I thought about it, uh, calculated out kind of water usage um, for doing field work and stuff like that for extended stays and I just decided that uh, having two 46 gallon freshwater tanks was just the best way to go um, and then I'll have a gray water tank that I'll kind of insulate around um, which will go under the bus uh, so that the shower and the sink can drain into that uh, and then I don't have to worry about the gray water being inside 
it's not too big of a deal if it's cold outside. Um, I can get some of those uh, wires that uh, you put down eaves to keep eaves from freezing. I can wrap the tank in that so that'll help it in cold weather to not freeze. Um, yeah, so that's about it uh, for what I'm building right now. And uh, I'll give you a later update. Um, sorry for the chaos and brevity of this one, but I just wanted to show you that some progress is being done. So uh, cheers, take care, and remember, I have a GoFundMe account and I love money to support the project because um, science is a verb. I'll talk to you later. Bye.